near look-alike to sugar maple, Acer saccharum, is black maple, Acer nigrum, and the Acer ACA. And the differences are very subtle. They're ecological and morphological differences. Both trees get to be very large. Both are actually grouped together as hard maples, and both can be tapped for maple syrup. The black maple has a typically larger leaf than sugar maple, and more often than not is three-lobed instead of five-lobed. And the leaves have a droopy appearance, almost like they're wilted. Another important diagnostic feature on black maple is that at the base of the petiole, there are often these little appendages. Sometimes they're quite striking. Black maple has a much thicker twig than sugar maple. The sugar maple has a brown twig, but the black maple twigs are rather mottled, and the buds are hairier. But the tree gets very large like sugar maple, up to three to four feet in diameter. It is much more drought tolerant than sugar maple, so it's really better suited to rockier sites or sites that are more drought prone. Its range extends way out into the Midwest, even into Iowa, where sugar maple is much more drought sensitive. It has beautiful fall color, like sugar maple, tends to be more in the orange and red range, but it's a large tree and there's some magnificent specimens throughout the eastern United States. The black maple, Acer nigrum.